Now imagine being forced to support a stranger, a child you've never seen, a child that isn't even yours. That's the story we're bringing out in the open right now. In almost half the states in the United States, a man does not have the legal right to fight a child support order, even if DNA proves he is not the father. Tonight, Susan Candiati shows us one man's remarkable struggle with laws that are clearly stacked against him. It's just like playing the movie out. That's all it is. Like many couples, Francisco Rodriguez and his wife Michelle both work hard, but still find themselves living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, repetition. <laughs> yeah, playing over and over again. It's expensive raising his two daughters and a son from his wife's previous marriage. And Rodriguez has one more mouth to feed. This birth certificate says he's also the father of a 15-year-old daughter. He says he didn't even know about her until three years ago when he was notified a former girlfriend had filed for child support. What did you say? It can't be. It can't be. Rodriguez owes $305 a month in child support. He's more than $10,000 behind in payments and even spent one night in jail because of it. There's just one thing. Rodriguez says he's not the daddy and has a 2003 DNA test to prove it. And you read down here and what does it say? It says uh, Francisco D. Rodriguez is excluded as the biological father. In fact, it says probability of parentage. Zero. Point zero. Zero percent. Zero percent. So Yet he's still that, he's ordered still to pay him. child support. Rodriguez next got the girl's mother to sign this notarized affidavit in 2004. In it, she writes DNA tests say, quote, he's not the father and asked to, quote, terminate child support. But even that didn't stop his court ordered payments. It's almost like you're drowning every day. You want to know when you're going to be able to go up and, ga and g gas some air. And, you know, it's just that's the way we've been living these past four years. Trying to get courts to listen can be a long, drawn-out affair. According to one group, Florida is one of only 27 states that allow men to fight back at all. Most of those states have set time limits to challenge paternity. And if men don't meet those deadlines, even if they can prove they're not the father, they cannot get back the money they already paid in child support and might still be responsible for future payments. Carnell Smith went through a similar nightmare. He founded an organization to lobby for new laws. He wants mandatory DNA tests when a child is born. Unfortunately today, it is not a crime for someone to lie about which man is the father. The mother doesn't have to return the money and rarely, if ever, is she prosecuted for perjury, for fraud. How about that pressure there? Every paycheck Rodriguez gets as a massage therapist is garnished by the state of Florida to make sure he pays. Yeah, I grossed for $273. They garnished $152.31 and left me with $99.80 to bring home. What do you do with that? <laughs> I just, uh, just grab what I can in the supermarket. Is your client willing to take Absolutely. additional paternity testing? Absolutely. A recent change in Florida law has given Rodriguez hope. It clears the way for Rodriguez to get a court-sanctioned DNA test. I still have to pay that. Even so, after his most recent hearing, Rodriguez's frustration boils over. So when you live check by check, it's hard. When you gotta come up with money to, go, to avoid jail time, it's ridiculous. Two weeks later, Rodriguez took that new DNA test. His ex-girlfriend and her daughter are no-shows, and it's not clear if they've been retested yet. CNN was unable to reach his ex-girlfriend for comment. I'm hoping that the uh, courts will go after her by all means necessary and, and just do, do the right thing. Even if he wins his case, Rodriguez won't get back what he's already paid, and Florida law does not automatically take him off the hook for that $10,000 he still owes. Susan Candiotti, CNN, Fort Lauderdale. Joining me now, Court TV anchor Jamie Floyd. This is ridiculous he has to pay this money. Yeah, it's an amazing story. Is this a fluke or we, we heard of two cases there. How, how often does I this happen? I don't think it's a, a terrible fluke because it's so easy to say that someone's the daddy. And DNA is a relatively recent thing. So there are a lot of guys out there, I imagine, paying child support for kids that aren't theirs. The, the great irony is that we always hear stories, and it is a real problem, of men who are the daddy who aren't paying. Sure. Here you've got a guy who's not the daddy who is paying. So it is, it's quite an amazing tale. So what is the deal with these states? Setting
setting these time limits by which you have to deny that you're the father? I mean, come on, in, in 23 of these states, you only have 60 days? Well, they have policy concerns. They want a child to know who the father is within a reasonable amount of time. And they also don't want the system to get bogged down with uh, paternity battles 10, 15 years after the fact. But now we've got DNA. And that really changes the whole equation. It's not he says, she says. Uh, it really, and even blood testing wasn't as precise as DNA. It can only narrow the field. Now we've got DNA. There's really no excuse, and the law needs to catch up to the science. All right. So how does Francisco? catch up here if you're advising him. Well, for the law now recognizes that this is a problem, but Francisco's case preceded the current laws. So I don't know that he's going to be able to, after the fact, either get uh, the money back that he's paid or certainly even unhook himself from the extra $10,000 he owes. I think it's a real problem for all those men who came before, but there are lessons to be learned for the future. I don't know about Francisco. I think in, in his case, he's going to have to affirmatively sue or even perhaps press criminal charges. Is that the lesson to be learned from this or should the law be a little more flexible I understand well, the law is the law but but now that you've got DNA testing that can definitively prove that a man didn't sire a child how can you force him to pay this I money? think that's right I think the law should be more flexible and in fact the law can be more precise let's DNA test when the baby is born Let's do that right up, straight up front, or perhaps right when a couple splits. Uh, but, but the law rarely allows for folks who were affected under old laws to now fall under new laws. And it seems terribly unjust, but the system would grind to a halt uh, if we allowed for that each time. You I think really believe that? I do, I do. I think, what uh, would unfortunately, I think unfortunately what would happen is you'd have lots and lots of men coming out of the woodworks uh, trying to revisit orders that are currently in place. And unfortunately, just this has to be somewhat uh, there's a bit of triage that goes on I know I know it's we don't like that we want to think oh, justice yeah. is done in every case well, it certainly isn't fair what is happening Francisco no it's not I, fair. I don't think that anybody out there would support the idea of him supporting well, a kid not only that he hasn't met but that he didn't father and what he's got going in his favor is that the mother is now acknowledging that he's not the father that's rather unique so we have that yeah, in addition to his DNA bucks in, in it well yeah well, 300 a week, I mean, a, week. Me, a month and he's not a guy who's got tons of money and he's got other children to support so so it is very problematic it's terribly sad and I think all of this attention on Francisco's case may help Francisco but I don't think you're going to see the courts revisiting hundreds thousands tens of thousands of court orders of child support and paternity from the past. I think it's a lesson for the future. And it's also a lesson to be careful about your choices as a man and as a woman. Sure. But you can't always predict that that would happen no, some 12 years no, after the no, fact. No. All of our male friends this know is that your this son, is a but great isn't. fear for men. Jamie Floyd, thanks. Such a pleasure, Paul. My pleasure. Coming up next, a shocking truth about America's